Our gang is filling up and we're starting to get competitive here on Prisons. Let's find out who our new members are and let's see what our next upgrades are going to be here in today's episode of Minecraft Prisons. Yes, hello everybody. Welcome back into a brand new episode of Minecraft Prisons. Today, of course, we're back here on Akuma MC for another episode in this season. Episode number, ooh, let's go with 12. I think it's 12. Something like that of the brand new season. Hopefully, you guys have been enjoying this map so far. I've been having the absolute best time on this map. I'm not going to lie. I don't think I've played this much prison in such a long time and I am absolutely loving it. So I hope you guys are as well. But we do have two new gang members that have joined my gang today, which should help us progress and become one of those top 10 gangs that we've been striving for so far. And, uh, you know, I don't think we're that far off. We're currently ranked 19. I don't even really know how the rank system works, but I'm assuming the more the merrier. So that's why we've uh, we've got two more people. Technically, I think we have space for one more. So if you are like the most intense prisons player and you're absolutely grinding, your rebirth, I don't know, freaking five or above, then let me me know because i am looking for one last person to join us one big big grinder that is uh you know gonna make a huge impact to the team we've got one slot remaining but guys thank you so much for all the support on the previous episode you guys have been killing it and i know for a fact that you've been loving these brand new crates just as much as i have and all the giveaways that we've been doing with them so you know that we're going to be running another one today for you lucky people to try and win um unfortunately i don't technically have any to open however our v kits are claimable today so we will be opening those and all the good stuff that come with them now you may have noticed I've done a little bit of mining off camera here and we are up to rank 547 which means we do actually have some of the ornaments to go ahead and spend. I believe we got two because we didn't spend our last one. So with this I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go with a pickaxe boost simply for the fact that we, that's like the only thing we're now catching up with is we need to get more pickaxe levels. So I'm going to go with the pickaxe boost. I don't know whether it's the best thing to have gone with just based on the fact that most of our pickaxe levels come from the, uh, the XP finder procs. But you know what? I guess we'll find out and hopefully we'll uh we'll start to get some more procs from lottery because that does sometimes go ahead and uh go ahead and actually give us what we need like it gives us a free pickaxe level so yeah we've got to pay attention to that but guys for today's giveaway we're going to do a valentine's bundle okay which is the valentine's v kit i believe two cupid crates and then one of the other crates as well so guys all you need to do to be in with the chance of winning that is like this video subscribe to the channel comment your username and then join the giveaways only discord and press the enter button there as long as you've done all that you are officially entered but please make sure you have completed all requirements before pressing the giveaway button in discord because if you are picked through discord you're not guaranteed to win unless you've done literally everything else so make sure you guys have done that so of course thanks to the grinding which we've been doing i do additionally have 200 million gems that we need to go ahead and spend right off the bat right here so let's go and take a look because I, I believe there's only a couple really in chance that we can uh that we can purchase and one of them who can max out is actually heroic treasure finder now this thing has been pretty insane for us so i'm gonna go ahead and i'm just gonna do it we're gonna max out it's gonna cost us a lot that's 200 million gems that we've just put into that it's a lot of freaking gems but you know what it's got to be done um let's go ahead and put the other 20 levels here on black hole there we go that is all of my gems spent just like that nice and quick it didn't take us long at all really did it we've spent all of the gems which i've been saving up and we now press these 3.7 billion by the way so you can see i've been putting some work in here and there i have been putting some work in by the way um uh, my well you guys will have seen it just there my enchantments procs quite a few times now for the uh what's it called for the uh, i always forget it for the shadow clone and as you guys could see just there for a brief second there are a huge amount of miners that drop in and help out and get jackhammer procs and that's how i got such easy rank ups because look these guys literally just go ham my rank up percentage just flies up when these guys are in the mine so yeah definitely worth it w uh w skin to be honest and uh it's definitely helping us out but before we look at our gang upgrades and what we can uh, you know look at doing next i'm gonna go ahead and open up all of my v kits because you know we've been uh we, we, well i think i've been ignoring them for like a couple of days now i think they've been ready so I just want to get into them and I don't want to waste any more time because, yeah, we, those are valuable to us and everything in there is going to help us. So let's go ahead and oh, I'll take that and let's go ahead and claim all of the V kits which we need to. I can store away all of the armor and stuff because it's just stuff that I don't use. One day, maybe you guys will get a PVP episode, but the day is not today. I can tell you that much right now. Um, all right, let's go ahead. I forget that we get those V kit crates as well now, which could come in very, very handy. So. Um, yeah, we won't complain too much. All right, there we go. That is all of those. I still don't know how I don't have the Thanksgiving VK unlocked. I'm pretty sure that is still a glitch from a few uh, few seasons ago. So I need to get that like friggin' fixed because I definitely unlocked it. 
Um, so yeah, once we can get that fixed, then I'll be able to open those as well. But for right now, this is what we've got. So let's go ahead and just open everything that we have right now. Do a little bit of an opening. I don't think we're going to get anything too crazy, but you never know. The V-Kit crates might come in clutch. Let's go ahead and just make sure we've got everything placed down that we possibly can right here. Mystery vaults and all. Glad that we actually do get uh, like new robots weekly as well. Oops, that's a mystery vault V-Kit. I didn't even realize what I was opening right there. But these should be technically the best vaults that we can open. So hopefully we get something insane out of those. I don't really know what we got or if we got anything too incredible, but uh, I'm going to assume that not. Uh, I'm going to assume that not. Um, all right, there we go. And yeah, let's go ahead and redeem all these robots. Like I said, I'm glad that we get these on a weekly basis because robots are actually way more overpowered than I even freaking consider um, at this point. So let's claim those. How much do we have in our robots right now to claim? Ooh, a nice 4Q. Yeah, because I've been pretty much on and grinding and AFKing and such. So I'll take the 4Q out of there. That's a free 4Q. We do not complain with those. Um, all right, so onto the VKit crates. These are kind of like the weekly crates, kind of not. They've got a different animation and such, but let's see what we do get from this jackpot item is going to be eight gold mystery vaults not a bad one actually those ones uh those ones can be pretty good all right let's go next one v kit crate come on what you got for me what you got for me v kit crate anything good in the middle here let's take a look tier two attachment boxes you know what we'll take that we will take that we don't have that many tier two attachment boxes or attachments in general so oh 24 epic robots nice win right there that's gonna help out all right last v kit crate what we got what we got in the last v kit crate anything big anything big uh a key master pet i don't really yeah i don't think we really need that to be honest i have not been although it does actually help with pickaxe xp so maybe we should swap pets to uh using something like that because i don't think the one that i have right now no it doesn't give me pickaxe xp which would be beneficial to be honest so i don't know maybe we need to switch up the pet strategy here because uh because pickaxe level is kind of like all i need right now realistically i mean we do need tokens as well but I don't know. I can kind of get tokens fairly easily just from selling the things that I have available. By the way, if you guys are interested in buying a Valentine's V-Kit Shard, if you jump online right now, like when this video is posted or probably a good few hours after it's posted, there are a couple from me on the AH. Um, yeah, they're, they're up there. So if you need one, grab them. Alrighty, that is that. Let's go ahead and chuck all of these away uh, for right now. I don't really need any of them. Um, yeah, we are not really needing any of that. Um, Alright, cool. So let's take a look at the gang and exactly what we're doing there because we've got a few things to look at actually. So first of all, welcome to our newest members, which is, I'm just going to call them Ek. I don't really know how to say their full name, but we're going to go with Ek. Um, and we're also going to say a welcome to Matthew, who these are our two brand new members. And as you can see, we have that one mystery slot remaining. So welcome to our brand new members. Those have joined me literally today. Uh, they're going to get on the grind and hopefully, you know, they're going to help out massively in terms of the gang. Now, in regards to upgrades, guys, you can see that we are pretty we're pretty poor in the shard bank right now. We don't really have that many. We have 261 regular and 95 heroic. Now, the next uh, upgrade that we want is this guy right here, the max enchant level, but it's going to cost me a heck load of tokens and a heck load of shards that we don't have. So this is kind of the one that we're working off camera because... I don't know. It's, it doesn't really make too much of a difference to you guys, like seeing it or not. Um, and then one of the ones which I want to save up next for on camera is this one. Now, it's going to cost me 20Q tokens. So they are super expensive. But what it essentially does is it's basically like having this booster, but like permanent. So right now we have three levels of it. So we already get a boost of uh, basically 9%. So when we go ahead and uh, we add another level, we'll actually be up to 12%. And then I guess the maximum is probably going to be 15%. Uh, uh, so that will be huge to have, honestly. But then after that, we're kind of um, we're, we're kind of free to see what we've got. Like, I, I'm pretty sure the next up would be a token boost upgrade and then the rank progress boost upgrade. So there are a couple of things which you still need to grind out in there. But right now, it's literally all just up to finding shards and getting shards and using shards. But my gang members and I are actively buying them. So if you guys aren't really in a gang or you're not really using your shards or you just need some quick money, then please reach out to myself or any of the gang members that are online at the time. And we will probably most likely buy your shards off you for a good going price. Now, a couple of episodes ago, we looked at challenges and one of our challenges that we couldn't do at the time was to get our rank to 500. Now we've done that. So let's actually have a quick peek at challenges to see what else we need to do because we need to upgrade a mythical armor piece to level 20 now that shouldn't actually be that hard uh because we've got a lot of uh we've got a lot of these things right here so let's just go ahead let's take out like i don't know 26 let's see what that does to this armor piece right here if we can get this up to level 20 then this is an easy challenge complete um what do we got level 18 okay no way we don't get to 20 right here 
And there we go. That's that's mission complete. That is essentially mission complete. So now let's go into our challenges, claim our rewards for that, and we can see what the next challenge is going to be. Hopefully, I don't know if the, there's a certain point where it starts changing back to a few easy challenges. So hopefully that's going to be right now. Let's take a look. What do we got? Um, reach pickaxe level 100, upgrade, upgrade napalm strike to 500, reach level 15 on a pet, and mine 130,000 blocks. Now, what is napalm strike? Oh, I guess we already have it. So that's kind of not really relevant. Uh, reach level 15 on a pet. Now, I don't know whether this is something which we have to like actively reach or if it's gonna, if it's gonna recognize the fact that my pet is already above that level. I don't know. We'll, we'll kind of leave that one for a second. But now I've got to mine 130,000 blocks. And if you guys remember, we have a strategy to do in this, and it's called drills. Now, this is essentially the easiest way to mine a whole bunch of blocks to these challenges. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to place down all of these uh, drills, preferably like three blocks apart, because they will mine a three by three by three. And hopefully, within a couple of uh, a couple of stacks here, we'll actually get that challenge complete, and that'll be super easy. But I just need to know whether it's going to recognize my pet. It's not the end of the world if it doesn't, because I do have a few pet candies which are basically automatic rank ups and using that many of them wouldn't scar me too much but i'd rather not because you know well i guess i don't really need them now i have the pet that i'm using pretty much for the rest of the season so i guess they're not really relevant to me anymore but i guess they're like monetary value and stuff like they're still worth something somewhere down the line but yes this should get my blocks mine done very very quickly here um i don't think it really helps anything oh i guess it is helping pickaxe level somewhat um, so I guess that's not too bad. What I should have done is that, is I should pop that pick, uh, yeah, pickaxe XP booster because this is probably the, the only time where I'm really going to be focusing on that. All right, mine 130 blocks is complete. Let's see if we can get this cheeky thing on a pet. Let's see, can we like do that? Will that work? Yes, it will. All right, there we go. That's perfect. That's all we need to do. Let's claim that so that we're not wasting any of these blocks right here. I don't know what this is going to be a reward wise. Um, we got mystery vault silvers. Okay. All right. What's next? Uh, okay. Now we've got to reach rank 600. So it's another one that we're not really going to be able to do right this second, but we've done pretty much all the other things or we can do all the other things. So it's just going to be up to me again to, um, to go ahead and continue mining off camera because that's just, yeah, we, we've just got to get that rank up. That's just something we have to do. Um, but it's not going to happen right this second on camera. I can tell you that much. Now, one thing that I've not focused on at all is this guy right here, the mortar. Now these things have actually been pretty overpowered in previous seasons. I don't really know how it'll be this season, but we can actually construct it right here you guys can see that there's basically some requirements to construct it so let's do that and then i don't remember what we need really to get the upgrades okay it's just a bunch of other requirements so for example we need to uh, mine blocks get pickaxe levels etc so i'm just going to oh we can already upgrade the ammo quality so let's do that uh we can do that one as well that one uh that one okay there we go that's where we now stop we're level four on ammo quality uh, let's take a look at the multiplier upgrade because we can do this one as well. We can get an extra few on there. And then what is this? Uh, challenges. Oh, okay. I just need to complete one more challenge, which we're kind of in the way, uh, like in progress of doing. Uh, lottery procs. We've got to get 75. How have we not got 75 of those? That's crazy. But yeah, we need to mine 300,000 blocks and then we can get the double strike upgrade. But now that we've got this, essentially, if you guys don't know what mortar does, I mean, hopefully I'll be able to kind of show you if it does actually go off today. But the fire rate is literally, you guys can see it's 0.005%. But basically, it'll shoot a thing. It'll shoot a thing out the cannon and then it'll proc some enchants. That's essentially the, the long and short of it. Um, and that's how it works. So it'll be pretty cool if we can get that to upgrade. It used to be a much bigger thing than it is now, I feel like. But if we can get some additional enchants, procs just by pressing buttons because all we have to do is complete some milestones to get to that then i'm not going to complain too much also ladies and gentlemen please take a look at the hourly gang event that just finished top 10 number two pepsi that is us that is my gang right there the fact that we've managed to get there is is incredible you guys can see that it's already paying off to have the gang members that we do i don't know actually what we get from that i'm assuming we get points towards gang top and i'm assuming that's how it works um but um, the fact that that is the, the fact that that's a thing and we've even managed to do that and appear on that top list means that we're doing something right. So don't count Pepsi out. OK, we're out here to uh, to make a difference. We are out here. Props to my gang members because that is like 100 percent their work. Like I've only really been mining for the last 30 minutes or so. So, yeah, that, that's 100 percent their work. Uh, definitely. Yeah, they, those guys have smashed that. So our next um, our next kind of thing is to get to pickaxe level 250, really, because that is essentially when we go ahead 
and we unlock a brand new enchant. Now, other than that, we're kind of grinding all the way up to pickaxe level 300 because there's actually a very, very important gem enchant that comes at level 300 that we need to work on as well. So there's a lot going on behind the scenes, but not a lot going on for you guys really to see at the minute. It's just grind, grind, grind pretty much. Um, we are, of course, waiting for week three of the battle pass to come out. Once this comes out in two days, uh, we're going to have a whole bunch of new quests, which we're going to be able to do and very easily use and get ourselves some uh, battle pass upgrades. But I guess what we could do is that voted daily quest real quick. So let me do that. I don't know if that will actually give me enough uh, enough XP to go up a level. No, it won't. So I maybe I did get one for completing the daily. Oh, we've actually got a couple that I haven't uh, haven't redeemed yet. But let me get these votes done quickly anyway. Might as well get XP where we can. All right, there we go. I voted. So hopefully that's good. Let's see what these other rewards are that we haven't claimed yet. Because I'm genuinely uh, intrigued. Celestial caches. Uh, 10 more celestial caches. Two times token booster, 15 minutes. And another two times token booster, 15 minutes. Okay, cool. I'm guessing we've got some decent rewards coming up here. Yeah, we got weekly crates coming up, actually. Um, so that'll be a nice little thing. As soon as next week's challenges are released, we could be into a nice haul of very, very good items. So we'll uh, we'll wait to see what those are and wait to see what those are like. But in the meantime, I guess we'll just have to try and continue completing our daily challenges. Well, guys, that's it. Are you going to make up that last spot in my gang? Is it going to be you? Do you have what it takes? Are you a grinder? Because we need you to make the difference. Pepsi is, is, is here to stay, okay? We're going to go crazy. Guys, hopefully you have enjoyed this episode. If you have, make sure you do hit that like button if you haven't already subscribed please make sure that you have just double check that you've hit that subscribe button because technically we could hit 100,000 subscribers this year which would be life-changing so if you guys could that would be awesome that is gonna be it for me today hopefully you have enjoyed and i'll see you all in the next episode of op prisons here on akuma mc